Greetings from the World Health Organization. On this occasion, where Bern is the capital of World Malaria Day. Malaria control is one of the greatest public health success stories since the start of this century. Over the past 15 years, malaria death rates have plunged by 60%, translating into 6.2 million lives saved. Among children in sub-Saharan Africa, malaria's heartland, mortality declined by more than 70%. This is a stunning achievement, made possible by a stunning increase in the delivery of WHO-recommended interventions that work in concert. An extremely complex disease like malaria requires a multi-pronged control effort that engages a wide range of actors from the public, private and civil society sectors. This is where Switzerland's contribution excels. Drawing on its research institutes, pharmaceutical industry, and non-governmental organizations, Switzerland has supported both the development of recommended interventions and their practical application within countries, especially in Africa. You have done this through the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, research institutes like the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute, and pharmaceutical companies that are major partners in the Medicines for Malaria venture. One leading Swiss company has delivered more than 300 million treatment courses of Quality Assure Malaria Medicines in child-friendly formulations. Swiss NGOs like Solidaire Med and the Swiss Red Cross work on the ground to strengthen community awareness of preventive measures and improve access to treatment. I thank the Swiss Malaria Group, including its parliamentarians and ambassadors, for a level of commitment and engagement that extends to country visits and hands-on interactions with communities. WHO welcomes messages set out in the Burn Declaration. Malaria control is a nation-building strategy, a powerful attack on the root causes of poverty, and a very smart and rewarding investment in sustainable development. The target set for malaria in the new Agenda for Sustainable Development is supremely ambitious, to end malaria by 2030. This ambition is reflected in the theme for this year's World Malaria Day, Ending Malaria for Good. Think about what this means for the people living in endemic countries. Imagine the day when the word malaria no longer brings fresh images of funerals for young children and becomes just a distant memory of something terrible from the past. With the broad level of commitment expressed here today, we can make that day a reality. Thank you.